Hello. Is Senator Thompson available? Thousands of signatures delivered to lawmakers Thursday by the group Moms Demand Action. This moments after faith leaders at the Capitol called for lawmakers to oppose House Bill 2597 or permitless carry. What I am concerned about is this escalation of violence. As a minister of the gospel, as a Baptist minister, if this happens, our state legislature, our elected officials will have blood on their hands. The bill applies to anyone 21 and over or 18 for veterans and active duty personnel, so long as they met legal requirements. Jesus knew that violence would beget violence. If you were to look in, in Missouri, you would notice that the city of St. Louis has seen a 23% increase in gun assault. You look at Arizona, they have had a 44% increase in gun assaults. That's a, t a tired, w worn out argument. Backers of the bill stress the bill may not require training, but it doesn't stop anyone from seeking it. Senate leadership also telling us there are safeguards in the bill. When we first had concealed carry permits in Oklahoma, people were saying there's going to be crime in the street, people are going to be shot, Walmart parking lots just right and left. That is not borne out. Senate Minority Leader Kay Floyd says she'll be voting no. The majority of my district and the majority of, of information calls and, and letters and emails that I get from my constituency um, oppose it. Though we're told it will likely pass. It came through committee much with relative ease, a uh, bipartisan vote, uh, and so I anticipate that it will, there will be questions, there will be debate, but I think it will pass overwhelmingly.